Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. Got a lot to cover on today's program, and I want to get straight to it. Uh, as everyone knows, any long-term listener to Price of Business knows, we're, we're great friends with a publishing house called Outskirts Press, and they're always bringing us interesting authors to talk about uh, their latest book. And uh, I, for one, have been looking forward to this interview with Mike McCarthy, and he's one of their uh, authors, and he's wrote a, written a book entitled the Maiden General, and uh, it's an interesting story and delighted to be able to focus on it today. Mike, welcome to the program. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you, you for having me. It's a delight to be on your show. You bet. Uh, everyone's very familiar with uh, Joan of Arc, or should be. I would say, say it's kind of generational. It's one of those stories that seem to be getting lost over time. Uh, but it's an amazing story uh, and and uh, one that I, I think people should be familiar with. And, and you captured it. it you captured it again for a modern audience in your book, The Made in General, correct? Yes, sir. And, um, and that's exactly what I was dealing with when I thought to, to uh, write the book, because most everybody that I knew, no matter what their faith is, I would ask them, what do you know about Joan of Arc? And most of them say, well, she was burned at the cross, and, and that's about all they knew. They didn't even know what country she was from or anything. So I, that's one of the major moving factors in my wanting to write the book. Yeah, or, or the extraordinary things that, uh, you know, many have looked back on as, as essentially miraculous. Uh, and so it's an amazing story. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about your background and what led you to writing the book. All right. Well, it actually begins when I was a little kid of nine years old and then sick a lot in the, in the hospital and then in my bed at home. And um, I couldn't do very much. And so I get all these little soldiers that I would play with on my bed. And uh, one day I asked my dad, uh, how did his sister Joan get her name? And he gave me a book to read, and and I was thrilled to find out that there was a young girl, almost my age or close to my age, uh, who had a history of really being successful in battle. So I imagined that she was always in charge of most of my battles when things got bad. And so from then, I just kept reading about her all my life. Every book I could put my hands on, I read about it. And then in recent years, I found a lot of the books that were coming out were back of misrepresentations. And I said, I need to straighten this out. There you go. Talk a little bit. Uh, and so what what grade level? You know, just, just from what I could tell, I would say it's probably young adult. Yeah, young adult and up. Um, I, you know, I've had people who are, you know, adult mothers and grandmothers, and I've had children who are 10, 11, and 12 read it, and they all say they love it. So um, I tried to write it that way, to keep the language simple yeah. and um, make the concepts simple. Yeah, and I think that those are usually the ones that stay with people. Thank you. Yeah, very good. So uh, when did the book get published? The book was published in November of last year. Very about good. the middle of the month. So it's really uh, brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. It's it's hot off the press, just literally. And and um, I'm I'm hoping that I can get the word out because I think I agree with you when you said that you know Joan of Arc is someone that people need to know about because she's an amazing person. Oh, absolutely, an extraordinary person. You know, and I'm an Anglophile, and I think she's an amazing person. So, well, that's uh, even better. <laughs> yeah, no I mean, question Winston about Churchill it. Churchill thought she was amazing. And yeah, he gave yeah. her all kinds of props. So, uh, but, but historically, the English have not been real thrilled about Joan of Arc because she she turned their war against the French in the Hundred Years' War around single handedly. Single handedly, she absolutely did. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, I'm not going to get into all of that aspect as an Anglophile, but you got to look at what she did, and you know, you almost have to think that uh, that uh, you know, there's more to it than uh, just uh, meets the surface. It's almost kind of uh, David and Goliath in its, uh, exactly. in its, its scope. That's exactly. Exactly. I mean, she was just a, a small country farmer's daughter who could not read or write or ride a horse, and um, on faith, uh, she went on a mission for God and, and, and went and turned the whole history of Europe around inside of 
uh, four months. Yeah, I'm talking to Mike McCarthy, author of the book Made in General. Mike, do you want to? Do you have a website you want me to refer to, or do you just want me to refer to the Outskirts Press website? No, I have a website. Let's, let's mention yours, which is www.mikemccarthy. And the only tricky part of that is, is my last name is spelled M A C C A R T H Y dot com. Got it. Do it one more time. So, Mike www dot Mike McCarthy dot com. Yeah, no question about it. People need to check it out. It'd be great for people of all age groups. Uh, you know, if, if you've got youngins, uh, you know, you can read the book uh, to them, and uh, it's just a very engaging and really important story, both historically and even from a faith perspective. Um, and so I encourage people to check it out. I appreciate you spending time talking about it. What are you doing to get the word out on it, by the way, Mike? Well, I'm going on radio as much as I can, and I've got, you know, some advertising that is going on in where I live, which is San Diego County, and uh, I'm getting ready to do a national buy um, and make some, go around and do some signings. I've already had some signings, and they were well-received. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm new at this. I'm new at the, at the author game, the, the, the bit of getting the word out. It, you know, I spent the past 10 and 20 years writing the book, and now I have to put on a different hat called the marketing hat. Yeah. So yeah. I'm doing the best I can, and, and I appreciate this opportunity to be on a national radio show of yours. Well, I appreciate you being with us, Mike McCarthy, and uh, he, again, uh, author of the book, Made in General, and uh, you can learn more about him at MikeMcCarthy.com. Second name is uh, spelled M-A-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y, and again, MikeMcCarthy.com. Thanks, Mike. All right, when we come back, we're going to have more for you. I do want to remind you the show continues 24-7 at PriceOfBusiness.com, and you're listening to The Price of Business. 